All right, so I, uh, I had to make a jig to install my fin box. I thought about a bunch of different ways to do it, but I just went ahead and made a jig, um, which I suggest pretty much everybody does because for some reason online, something like this costs like 200 freaking dollars and there's no freaking reason for a piece of plexiglass with a hole cut in it to cost 200 freaking dollars. You guys are ridiculous, by the way. See this? Probably cost me 85 cents. Uh, anyway, I made my own jig, and if you've come this far with your surfboard, trust me, you can make a jig for your own router as well. It's not that hard. Ugh, just talking about that gets me pissed off. Anyway, uh, I just made my own jig. Uh, I, wish I, I wish I had a smaller router, but I have a big router, so it's just what I'm going to have to use. But, uh, not the hardest thing to make a jig, just... Take your fin box, cut it, you know, trace it on a piece of wood, cut it out fairly well. You know, don't just slack through it, cut it out nice, you know. See, I got a big router, I don't have one of them little guys like you guys got. I got a big router. But I can make it work. And, uh, <clears throat> just, uh, cut the hole out, run the, the, put the router in there with the, the bit up against the, the cup that you made inside there. Put a piece of wood up against the very edge of the router, or mark it first, whatever. Put it on there, don't just trust your first time, put it down, put the fin box in, you know, put your router around it a few times, make sure you're rubbing up against the wood and not this. I suggest going a little small uh, for the first one because it's really easy to take this stuff off, but it's really hard to put it back. So, um, so what I'm going to be doing is routing in my fin box for my surfboard. Um, so going off a different longboard that I have and a little bit of research on the internet, uh, it's right around five and a half inches that uh, you should measure up from the bottom of the board to the first portion of your fin box should be about five and a half inches. I guess it varies from, from here, hither to there. there. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and measure up probably five and three quarter. It says you're allowed to vary. so. I'm going to vary it. Here we go. Mom always told me that men use too much tape. She taught me that learning how to, teaching me how to learn how to wrap Christmas presents, which I am a master at, by the way. But yes, she is right. I definitely use too much tape. Do it. 
instead of P. Say it, Mark. Well, if I'm wrong, worst case scenario is I gotta put the jig back on exactly how I took it off, but I think we're good, so I'm taking it off. see what I mean. Now I've noticed this already aside from as I show you the stringer where I got a, I got a bunch of I bought a big old bucket of Q cells so I'm gonna fill in and he's I already have been and I knew that when I sanded this that there was a not a D-lamb by any means but just where the foam literally got eaten away from the freaking glue. It's sad actually it's embarrassing how much got eaten away but I use I mean, really, though, $200 or better for this? Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Message me, and I'll send you one for 20 bucks. Tell me which one you want, and I'll, I'll send it to you for 20 bucks. I am now officially selling jigs for fin boxes. Any fin box, 20 bucks a pop. Hit me up. Whoever's selling them for 160 170 200 plus dollars... You should be embarrassed. Damn, I still go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, bring my bit out a little bit so I can. Let's see how we do it. Now I'm going to mix up some resin, um, two, three ounces, probably three ounces, um, since it's two to one, I'll do two ounces of epoxy and one ounce of hardener. Uh, and I got that quick cap too, which is really fast, sets up in like ten minutes, can't even hold it in your hand after like seven minutes, it gets so freaking hot. Um, lesson learned. Uh, but now I'm going to mix up some resin. And uh, tape this whole thing off. Actually, I'm going to tape it off first. I'm going to tape it off, mix up some resin, trim that piece of fiberglass mesh up a little bit better so I don't have quite as much hanging over. Just make it easier to clean it up when I'm done. And uh, we'll pour it in here and we'll go from there. All right. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, so <clears throat> I took some Q-Cell. I, I think that's what it's called. I'm in Ohio, guys. Bear with me. I'm all alone out here trying to do this stuff so but once it's in your blood man it's it's like anything else so but anyway i put some q cell down in down into the hole here because where i showed you the d lamb or where the the gorilla glue had ate away from the stringer um to the to the foam right there I ate a bunch of the foam away with the glue that i use next time i'm just gonna use resin i've seen that in another video that's so smart i don't know why i didn't think of that I know why I didn't think of it, because none of the videos showed me that shit, and I'm on my own out here. But anyway, uh, I put some Q-Cell in there just to fill that gap up a little bit. I saw it through. I've seen it from day one, but I didn't care about it because I knew that it was where I was going to be cutting out for the stringer, but I didn't realize just how deep it went. So, Or cutting out for the uh, fin box, not stringer. I apologize. But anyway, uh, I filled the gap with some Q-Cell, and I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And then I'm going to put the fin box and the mesh with my resin. Can't zoom in in this mode, so I'll just walk over and show you. Uh, it's the resin research. Quick, quick, quick kick resin. Um, 
I saw absolutely no blue in the tint. So, shh, dries super clear. It's better than uh, what I did the bottom of my board with. But at least I used a different color, so the lap is obvious. And um, I still got a few things to do. I'm going to put a pinstripe down the edge of the lap, too, before I glass it. So It's going to be fun. So once this Q-cell is dry, we'll be up to the next process.